So good morning all. I am Vivek, representing INIT Association of English Teachers from India. And I welcome you all to this presentation. As uh, mentioned in the first slide, we believe in networking, we believe in connecting, and we believe in developing together. So in line of that, uh, Hanbi Trust uh, sponsored our project uh, titled INET Connected Connect Stronger Networking for Stronger Teacher Association in 2019. Due to unusual circumstances owing to the COVID-19 situation, uh, uh, the planned activities in physical mode were uh, converted into online activities. Of course, some of the activities were conducted in the traditional face-to-face uh, -face mode, but some of them were conducted in altered format of uh, connection or connectivity on online platform. So I'll be talking about this. Uh, the objective of this particular project was to build a team of member volunteers. Uh, we found that uh, the presence of the teacher association is more on the media and the successful association in always that has presence on uh, social media platform because that is buzzword nowadays. And uh, following this trend of time, INET felt a dire need to improve its existence on uh, various platforms. There are many, but we chose to uh, focus on a few like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, and YouTube. Why they? they? Because they are quite familiar with the teachers in their working context, and they are users of these particular platforms. And uh, this attempt turned out to be a very fruitful one because we got an opportunity to test these platforms during the Corona pandemic, where teachers were asked to conduct their classes in online mode. So earlier, there was no formal training to enable these teachers to change themselves into this online kind of uh, interaction. But this training helped them to get equipped and uh, perform in that particular period of demand that way for as the far as the activity of this particular project is concerned uh, these teachers volunteer teachers launch social media activities and initiatives and thus uh, though this is progressive but that help in strengthening the presence of INET on social media another objective of this particular project to develop media and communication policy of INET. Though we are mentioning here as INET, we aim at this would be one of its kind policy for all the associations to follow. The timeline for this particular project was thus. Uh, it was meant for 2019 to 2020, but due to our situations, the computers will allow us kindly to uh, extend this further till 2021 to conduct and complete these activities in the timely manner. Uh, we invited expression of interest from the teachers and then uh, they were identified and, and then trained accordingly. Uh, they were involved in the activities and in the phase manner uh, through workshops, the capacity building activities were taken. In the process, they could handle INET 2020 conference, which held in uh, Hyderabad in online and offline mode. So they telecasted this through various media channels on their own. No technical expertise was required for that. So this is the result and tangible output of this particular capacity building initiative. And thrilled with the achievements of this project, we are also now talking about, thinking about INET Connect 200. Because we felt need of introducing new channels of communication, new platforms, and thus, we will be focusing on new channels now in the next phase of this particular project. This is the project lead team. Uh, me, Nadim Bhai and Milin Bhai. Uh, earlier, the plan was to be here for the presentation, but due to some visa issues and all, uh, Nadim Bhai and Milin couldn't make it. But though they couldn't make it in physical form, they are available on uh, Zoom. So let us welcome uh, Nadim Bhai and uh, Milin for a minute.
हाय विवेक सर ओवर टू यू नरिम भाई या एम आई ऑडिबल यस यू आर लिटिल लाउड या बी लाउड या गुड मॉर्निंग विवेक सर एंड ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज प्रेजेंट ओवर देयर uh we desperately wanted to come over there to belfast and give a presentation give a joint presentation but due to some unavoidable circumstances i couldn't make it but uh we wish all the best to vivek sir who is there representing our team and i wish all the best bye sir over to you milin hello good morning to all and good afternoon from india i am milin and uh, we all uh, as nadeem and vivek already said we already planned to have a joint presentation there but unfortunately we tried a lot but we couldn't make it all the best vivek and we hope there would be a good interaction with, and we will get good insights from uh, you all guys thank you thank you over to you vivek thank you belin yeah can i request you vivek sir to just keep your video on thank sure. you these teachers majority of them are from secondary uh, education they volunteer themselves to initiate these platforms and social media activities uh, for this project and uh, uh, as you can see uh, they manage uh, this team of maybe let us say twitter instagram whatsapp website blog youtube and facebook the fantastic thing about these teachers is they are not trained teachers to maintain these activities and these uh, skills uh, for the presentation but they learn through this project activities and now they are managing this independently these are the glimpses of some activities that these teams could host and conduct successfully the live telecasting of fifth inet conference in 2020 as just mentioned uh held at hyderabad they telecasted this and they cross posted this on various platforms thus enhanced existence of social media um association on social media these activities include some webinars facebook lives youtube presentations and many more to mention what is tangible outcome of this particular project these are comparisons prior to this project i need had 400 likes whereas after this completion of phase 1 we reach 3933 likes almost 10 times you will see same trend in the followers and reach our reach is reach to 29000 by the end of completion of this phase 1 on twitter we had 27 followers at the beginning now we have 426 i'm sure there is no point in comparison uh, between the associations this is a budding association so uh, for us this is very important uh, milestone okay. you will find same we had no no followers on youtube instagram and telegram at the beginning when we thought of uh, launching this project but now we have 476 subscribers on youtube then 220 on instagram and 202 on telegram the number is growing day by day massive increase in the presence and reach on multiple social media platforms capacity development of the association in terms of own resources skills knowledge and setting up policies process and as just i mentioned this media policy is being designed by the team team of these project participants we are into the final uh, stage of this policy and we believe that this would be one of first of its kind one of its kind when it will come out multiple interactive communication channels with members and non members then considerable increase in the visibility access and brand image of the association successful tapping of the expertise and talent available within the association membership they are all part of member uh, association and they are getting empowered themselves uh, by means of this enhancement and skill what is the purpose of this the purpose is to create a middle level leadership roles we believe that uh, through such activities 
we will pay ways to the budding leadership second line of leadership third line of leadership will be developed through these activities and we are strongly uh, hoping that uh, the leadership will come from this parallel only and again network i make network more diverse and inclusive in terms of geography social economic context and gender uh, i hope you have an idea that india is huge country geographically and population wise and it's always a challenge to uh, get connected with the corners of this country um, by means of face to face activities but this initiations uh, will lead association to reach all corners of the country successfully and uh, i hope uh, the second phase will also add uh, some more milestones in the development of the association they have got variety of professional development and capacity building activities um, arranged for the, them and through them through these activities they got themselves empowered they themselves are the experts now they, they have started taking uh, sessions on how to manage telegram for the association how to manage whatsapp activities for the association like and so forth yeah. and these activities help this teacher community and group to organize their own activities in the pandemic and the tangible one of the tangible output is networking opportunity across the country and the global yeah. uh, we are also thinking about having sark countries association platform so that we can expand our links for the uh, in the neighboring countries of uh, south asia we are also aiming at developing resources and tools pulling of trained people and collective effort to cope up with the challenging shift to online work due to pandemic i'm sure now we are also uh, we are coming back to our traditional uh, offline classes but that way uh, offline classes won't uh, supplement or substitute online activities so we need to get ourselves strengthened on this and i hope this blended mode will enable us to reach more audience in the coming future as i have mentioned we have collaboration with teacher association mutual benefit from the mutual community and these teachers are you um, working as a brand ambassador ambassador of the association ambassador of the social media activities for the uh, furtherance of this cause we have organized about 70 webinars over 6 minutes 6 months uh, through this inet connect support we call this inet connect support initiative and now the teachers are not just teachers they are media coordinators content creators webinar presenters tech support and event management so these are these are new roles they are into uh, in the in the demand time of demand what is learning out of this i'm sorry for the hurdle uh project taught us some lessons like the things won't go as they plan as i have said that the uh, corona situations pandemic situation forced us to think alternative uh, ways of reaching to the targets and all so contingency plan is very required very much required and that that is the important lesson we learned out of this unprecedented upsets and disruptions like pandemic have before that there will be frequent mention of this so we need to, we, we we change our plan accordingly and this is important lesson for us working in a team is a key to success we all are excellent individually but we fail miserably when it comes to team work and team building so that we learned out of this individual commitment matters a lot in any team work great value by promoting promoting diversity and inclusion for example a balance between men and women indian and overseas speakers in social media because though this is not very uh, highlighted or important uh, maybe issue our eyes but but this is very vital when we come to interpersonal kind of communication and team building out of this we have proposed plan for the future we wish to uh, begin with a connect 20 where we are talking about adding new channels of communication and map of platforms then we are also talking about extending this particular activities and skills to associates associates uh, individually and as associations and we wish to collaborate with other teacher associations for the capacity building and networking we wish to extend our expertise with other teachers associations who are also in need of such activities 
for their strengthening and their existence. If you wish to know about the activities of INET, you can scan this QR code. It will take you to multiple channels like uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, website of the uh, INET. And if you wish to reach me, this is my QR code. <laughs> And if you are not techno savvy, you are also welcome. <laughs> yeah. um, what, what do you use the different platforms for? Like some of them see more messaging, and is that just to have a point of contact, or do, do you do the teachers do different? With the different channels, I would assume, like for example, like YouTube, and doing lots of the webinars and stuff. But with the other ones, what what would you do? Uh, due to uh, this communication technology, the teachers are expected to play multiple roles. So, uh, for example, I'll give one example. For example, Facebook Live. So the teachers are conducting their classes, unit-wise classes, on the Facebook. And these classes are cross-posted on uh, social media platforms like Instagram posts. And they are reaching to the wider community like students, uh, stakeholders like parents and the school admins. So they are content, creating content first, uh, maybe customized content for that particular channel for social media platform. For example, if you want to post anything on uh, status, Facebook or WhatsApp status, you can't go beyond limit of 30 seconds. So that has to be kept in mind while preparing content of that particular platform. So the teachers learned these particular skills in this particular workshop, and now they are able to con create content for uh, social media platforms, customized content. So they are, they are able to uh, maybe conduct webinars, uh, YouTube live sessions. Uh, they can post on Instagram, customized posts on Instagram. And one team is expert in cross-posting this across the media platforms. And so say we start with like Telegram and WhatsApp. Ah. Is that just they are they are they are coordination of platforms. They coordinate group forms. So they share the information according. So they are just to disseminate some information. Telegram is important for the dissemination of information. One way channel of communication. And that's for the people coordinate or for the people for the people who uh, use it. Separate channels for the coordinators, separate channel for the uh, users. That's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you.